Hello and welcome to this MyLapse Trackside training video. This session is called Intro to MyLapse Trackside. In this video, I will assume that you have downloaded and installed MyLapse Trackside. This video will cover the initial setup of an event and prepare you for the next level of using Trackside. After installation, you will start MyLapse Trackside by clicking the icon on your desktop. With the initial installation of Trackside, a blank database is installed. All data that you type into Trackside is stored in this database. The name and location is listed across the top of Trackside. This is telling you where the database is and the name of the database. Before you can enter data for an event, you must first create a list of classes that you will offer. To create the list of classes, click the menu Maintenance and then click Classes. Here you can define the class names that you will be offering at your events. The classes you create here can be used over and over. If you need to add new classes at any point, just come back to this screen and create the class. This database already has a few classes in it. If you will not have classes with the names provided, you can rename the current classes and you can add more classes. Here I will rename the 450 classes to open and I will add a few more classes. Once you've completed your classes, you can click Update and then click the Close button. You see many more options on this screen, but we'll go over those at a later time. In addition to classes, you will need to manage the machine brands that may be used. Click Maintenance, Machine Brands to open the maintenance window. Every record here must have a description and a short description. Be careful not to enter the same brand twice. You will want to keep your database as clean as possible. Now is a good time to remove any brands that you know you will not be using and add any brands that are missing from the list. In this case, I'm just going to leave this list alone. Click update if you've added new and then close the window. If your events are going to belong to a series, you need to create that series under Maintenance, Series. I can add the name of the series here. Click Update and close the window. If you're going to use Trackside to maintain your series and points, you will need to set up the series points table. Open the points table by clicking maintenance points table. Trackside will allow you to set up two different points tables so that you don't have to keep going back and forth with changing the data. Using this table method allows more flexibility for the promoters. Not all promoters use the points in the same fashion. Make sure that this table fits your needs. Be sure to understand this screen. The bold column on the left is the first thing Trackside will look at when it goes to assign points. Trackside will use the number of entries in the race to determine how many points each place will get. For example, if your class has 28 entries, scroll down to 28, and let's say that a rider gets 12th place. Trackside comes to here, looks at 12th place for 28 riders. Trackside then will assign 9 points for that rider in a race of 28 that gets 12th place. 
when you set up your table, be sure to scroll all the way to the bottom and scroll all the way to the right. Once your points table matches your method of assign in points, you can close this window by clicking OK. If you've already assigned points to events in the past, making a change to this table does not change the event. You would need to go back to the event and reassign the points. We've done the basic setup now for an event. We're ready to start our first event. To start our first event, we'll go to File, New. First, we'll select the promoter name. We'll give our event a name, an event location. The event name could be your track name, uh, your your round, whichever you whichever you select. Event location could be your track your track if you're going to race multiple tracks. It could also be your city and state. Here, I'll make it my city and state. The event start date and the event end date. Let's set the event start date. Now we move over to series. If this race is going to belong to a series, we'll click this drop down and assign it to a series. An event can belong to two series at the same time. You would just select the other series at this drop down. Here we have the value for did not finish, did not start, and disqualified. The default values are put in when you create the event. I suggest you leave these default values set unless you know the reason to change them. Trackside does not use the 88, 89, or 90 as a numeric value to add with. It simply uses a, an indicator so that it knows how to handle a finished position. Trackside has rules programmed into it on how to handle a did not finish, a did not start, or a disqualification. Next we'll select the format of our race, 2-moto or 3-moto. We'll set up a 2-moto. Gate choice options are random, order of sign up, or series points. Most commonly gate choice is used random. If you were to set it to series points, whatever series points are for this series in series one, the racers will be ordered in that sequence of racer with the most points to racer with the least points. Racers that sign up for this event and don't have any points in that series will be sorted randomly at the end of the class list. When you print your gate choice report to send to the gate, this is the order it will print it in, whatever you've selected here. The overall, most commonly you would combine moto finishes. You have the option to say Moto2 is the overall, or that the user will enter the overall. Trophies, the default value is one per three racers. This is going to appear on your race order report to tell the racers how many trophies there are being issued. If your option is not listed, select user will determine. The final step in setting up an event is to assign the classes we're going to offer at this event. I'm going to click Assign Event Classes. Here we see all the classes that are in the database. Over on the right are the classes that we're going to offer at this race. In this case, I have the option to use these arrow buttons to move whichever record is selected over. If I select Open A and use this arrow button, Open A gets moved from this list to this list. If I select this, all classes will come over. The other option you can do is drag and drop. In this example, we want to offer all the classes in our list, so I'm just going to say move all classes. Once I've got my list complete, I'll click close. If I realize halfway through entry that I did not remember to get all my classes, I can come back to here and add more classes to the event. The final step is to save our data. I'm going to click Save, and that now gives me an event name and allows me to start signing up. This concludes the intro to Trackside and setting up an event.
Find more training sessions online at mxtransponder.com.